that I'll be coming to us able to give you details of what is really happening here on the beautiful land that an honest chief has decided to give out to anybody who is interested in settling here on the motherland. I am on the second phase and truly speaking, honestly speaking, development here in the second phase is phenomenal. You understand what I'm saying? Yeah, <laughs> it's phenomenal. Just look at this. The last time I came around, I didn't see that over there. I didn't see that building just at the back there with the green roofing. This wasn't there and that wasn't there. Anyway, let me walk up there and show you what is happening on the Asebu Pan-African project. If you are skeptic, still skeptic, reading some fake articles, listening to some other people that are not privy to a lot of information, then I don't know what to say. But all I know is people who are bold, who are strong, are making their way. Look, over there. Building the go over there. Yeah, we will go there. We are in the second phase right now. Look, someone who doesn't employ negativity in their dealings are putting up structures. At the end of the day, what are we in this world for? What are we taking away? I mean, I'm, I'm happy I'm making these videos today because I'm seeing things. I'm seeing, look at someone's house. It's kind of like it's even built. I go. Wow. Very simple, nice edifice. I go, Fia. I tell you. What? This work? Okay. So, those of you who know Matthew, I used to. Uh, He's a builder. I used to interview him a lot. Now he's working with the government and stuff. So I barely, we barely get to meet. And Matthew did this wall. Matthew did this wall. And he's the one we're going to be working with. Yes. Matthew did this beautiful wall here. And he's the one we're going to... I think this is maybe four plots. Yeah. This might look like four plots. Yeah. But I love this. Ouch! I will fall for you, for you to understand that we got to go the extra mile in doing a lot of things. We're focusing on the positivity of doing things. Sometimes, I don't want to be talking about some of these things. Yeah, that's a thing. <laughs> uh, sometimes, I think we can't go down. We have to go back. Okay. Sometimes I watch videos in the, uh, on, on YouTube where brothers and sisters are mismanaged, maltreated, you know, by the police, by other, maybe European people. We see the videos all the time, all the time. Uh, the racial profiling. And it hits me so hard when I see some of these things. But what are we supposed to do? Do we sit and complain like others are doing now? Trying to find fault with everything? Why don't we rather come together and teach the best thing, the right thing to do without being angry, without being harsh? On anybody I believe that the people of Asebu led by the paramount chief they have learnt a lot I am sure that the, 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 the team have learnt a lot a lot of lesson 
Are we going to go through here or we are going down there? Okay. He might have learnt a lesson from 2019 till now. I have seen few developments added in terms of Asebu and the office. Okay. Yes, there are hitches everywhere. There are setbacks everywhere. Sometimes myself, I get so mad at the office. Why? Because when we put in a request, it takes a longer time. And you watching me will say, Echo, you're wasting time. Why am I not hearing from you? Echo, I don't control that. Sometimes I don't control it. I am representing you here. Driving to the place, calling for information, making such videos for my beautiful people watching me right now. But sometimes, anyway, we are not here to talk about that. Let's talk about the developmental project ongoing. The last time I came here, you see that building over there? Yes, I brought a man from, uh, I've forgotten, is it Florida? Yes. And this wasn't there. Honestly, this place was bush. And now I came here in about, let's say, two months. And look at this. If the person is encouraging negativity from other people, they wouldn't have. Uh, do, do you understand what I'm saying? Yes. Today we are here. Look. Early in the morning. It's a Thursday morning. A Thursday morning. Today is 20, 29th. The last day of the month of February. I love this. I love this world. Strong. Yeah. I've told you I'm not a builder. But I find people who can build and I can you know connect them bring them closer because let's work together that is what we're supposed to do. you know the issue with us is that we don't talk to each other we don't communicate the moment someone hears something they put it in their head and they start acting towards it let me show you this it's so nice this looks like someday we came here yeah then they were it'd be this one yeah, I took the name, I remember. Oh, wow. Yeah. Charlie, take it and video me. I'm cutting it. I have made up my mind to speak to any of the locals who has one way or the other been affected by uh, this whole project. Because I hear it, I read it. Echo, people's livelihood, they are taking it away from them. People's this, people's this. Um, it has always been from my end with Asebu. So like I said, I'm going to do my best to find a local and ask him questions. I mean, what is going on? Are they duly, fully compensated or not? Then maybe we can hear the stories of the locals. Because since I started, I've not really spoken to any local person. Because sometimes it's hard to get them. They don't want to be on the camera because they may say something and then the whole town will say, oh, so you went to say this. No, that kind of vibe. So, but I have heard Miss Karen, uh, uh, Mr. Len, or any of those people who are staying here calling me to complain that I call. I've been attacked or some people came to me and did this or somebody said this about me or somebody is doing that. I've not heard it. So sometimes I really want to know who is being attacked in Asebu here. I wish, if, if you know anybody who has made that complaint, uh, I mean a diaspora who has made that complaint, kindly put up the comment. I'll follow up, go look for the person and really hear what he also has to say if really such things has been happening here. This is Richie. Yeah. Richie, say hello. Hello. Yes, I am. Respect. Your respect. <laughs> All right. So, 
It's all good. If you wanna. Yeah, he's speaking our language. He said we have, a, we we represent someone's plot over there, but it's, it's really far. That's what he was trying to say. And people are planting. Look, this is cassava, cassava plantation. So when you come, you may want to also plant some cassava so that you can eat fufu. Oh, just beside it, someone has constructed his borehole. Look at that. Look. The project is ongoing. The pro the Asebu, the Asebu project is really ongoing. It's like every day there's something. So who, who which part? I think it's fresh. Yeah, it's fresh. Look, somebody just did the borehole. The person is going to build. All right, let's go. There are some rural folks also working around doing their thing. You know, they don't care about anybody. All right, that is the vibe. When you meet the locals, morning, morning, morning. <laughs> oh God. Okay, that's a good. This one looks like. Uh, should we go there? Let me show them this. <laughs> okay, no, let's go this way. But there's a building over there. Yeah. Yeah. I say, boo, it's coming up. I say, boo, it's coming up. Let's forget about the negativity because this is a lifetime opportunity. I am very happy today. Anyway, shout outs to my auntie. You're from Ghana, but you are in the USA. Um, you usually make funny comments on my on my videos. Uh, auntie SOS. Now nah, I've forgotten the name that you use there. Morning, morning. morning. Yeah. So um, shout outs to you. Shout outs to Leslie. Shout outs to you, Leslie. Shout outs to Lee. Shout outs to um there's this guy who's always giving me negative comments. GM go or say GM whatever. Every time, oh here. So they make chaco here. Alright, so they just I think they've done the first one. Come, come and take it. Okay, so what they do is that they dig a hole. See there. They dig a long uh French, if I should say like that, and they pack the sticks here. They pack it, they pack it, they pack it, they pack it, and then they cut leaves. No, they put. Oh, I thought that was a snake. And they put. Uh, I'm here. Sand. sand. So they put the sand yeah. on it, yeah, and then they put leaves, a lot of it, and then they set fire to it, and then leave it for like some days. This one, this one didn't cook well. This one didn't cook well. Chairman, how are you? Okay. All right. Today is a vlog, you know. Today is like really a vlog. Like I'm doing my thing. And I will not take any anything out of this video. It's going to be uncut. Yeah. Then we are heading towards Ohiaba. Okay. Who is coming? Old Ebu. Okay. Matthew, are <laughs> Do you know what? Matthew, I just mentioned your name in my video and your call came. God is connecting us. The ancestors are connecting us. What's up? Ah, there way. Me well, I'm going Mokoy second phase, the far end. Old Ebu Coconut. So I didn't know that you are around. No, no, no. Share, man, from my uncle. Eh, Baba ha. No, 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 no.
You see how the ancestors work when I came to Asebu. You see, there is something spiritual with this whole thing. A whole chief, I think it's about 70 years plus, who sat down, who gave him that idea? How did it even come into his mind that our brothers and sisters are coming? What can I do? If we believe in spirituality, African tradition, we believe in reincarnation, we believe that do you sometimes walk around, sometimes I walk around, somebody sees me and say, ah, you, I know you. Are you not from this place? I'm like, nah, I've never even been there. You look like my cousin. You look like my this, my dad. It means that there is something working. So for a chief to sit down, he's not silly. He's not dishonest. He doesn't want, I mean, for him to sit down and say, I want to do this for my brothers and sisters to come home. And then we have some of us thinking that it is a stupid idea. So you speak ill against it. You write articles, uh, uh, whatever, diaspora land is in intense, whatever shit. People have sent it to me to read, but I'm reading that. I don't have time for that. It's too negative for me. Look, Charlie. Oh no, there's another construction going over there. Look, Asebu is the ish now. Take it or leave it. Take it or leave it. Asebu is the ish now. Let's go inside. Asebu is the ish now. Uh, I've seen a construction ongoing. I'm going to ask permission if I can shoot a video here. So let's go together. Whew. Whew, I'm tired. Very, very, very tired. Here, we ask permission. You can't just. It's not like the US where you can just take your phone and then be video or anything like that. Chairman, good morning. Apome. For your business, they call Simpson. I'm a YouTuber. I'm a mother of the people who are in the world. I'm a mother of the people who are in the world. I'm a mother of the people who are in the world. I'm a mother of the people who are in the world. I'm a mother of the people who are in Yeah. We've really worked. We've really worked. So I asked them to I asked them a permission to just show you guys that there's a project on board. I think this this one could be like four plots because yeah it looks big. On the countryside, and unfortunately, unfortunately, yeah, maybe 15 years ago, if you tell anybody, I think there's more projects for them. 15 years down below. If you had told anybody to come and stay in the rural community, they will never come. Even a Ghanaian, he won't come. He will, he will start complaining. Oh, I won't get water. I won't get electricity. I won't get phone uh, network. I won't get some of these amenities and all that. But now, 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 the rich people are buying land in the rural communities. They have realized that now the city is so expensive the city is so expensive to live there. And economic hardship, it is affecting anybody, everybody all over the world. Look, that clan are very nice. Mm. 
So we go. Okay. Oh, okay. Well, another thing is, I just saw this. Maybe someone who thinks uh, he or she is cash trapped. I think they'd rather buy this. this one, but it's expensive. It's expensive too, eh? Wow. Look at the pillars. Depending on number. Hmm. Uh huh. It's a bad year. This one will be less cost. This guy. Yeah, but but even to transport this, it's a whole vibe on its own. <laughs> so if you can see, I think the person doesn't want to build a wall so and want to save some money so he's he bought this uh this thing here this pillars yes with a hole in it you know yeah uh, the hole doesn't even come out of. no this one doesn't come out uh -uh. it doesn't yeah, it's supposed to show up, show outside. Okay, so what I know is, okay, I think that one is showing outside. Or maybe when they are ready, they just punch in something. Yeah, and then they put the wire mesh and everything. But how sustainable is this? Look, there's one on the floor. So, well, I won't, I won't do this. I will not do this. I'd rather use the money to even build a short wall, a very short one. And bit by bit I continue, but I will not do this because if it rains and the weather, the soil gets so soft, I lost. The road keeps going, man. The road keeps going. I will say, uh, big ups to that Asebu Pan African project because now they are focused on doing the road, 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 road. If not, we wouldn't have even be able to be walking around like this. No. We'll be like in the bushes, you know, trying to get ourselves together. Oh, I'm tired. Guess what? I'm going to end the video here. And then maybe when I get to some other part, I'll bring you a part two of the Asebo Pan-African village. If you think it is for you, go ahead and get it. We are looking at the future, not today. Peace out.